Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to ask the question, what does Mercury want you to know? And what I've done is I've selected the Mercury cards from the Vedic Astrology deck. So we will pick one per group and I've also got for this reading the beautiful Bhagavad Gita deck this is fantastic. I thought this would be appropriate for Mercury because the Bhagavad Gita is essentially just a conversation, a conversation between Arjuna and Krishna. And it's just a tiny chapter of the Mahabharata series. It's a, that's a massive, um, gosh, I don't even know what you call it. Like, <laughs> It's not a book, it's a great big something. So yeah, this is a conversation that's happening. And I thought, a conversation that's perfect because this is Mercury and Mercury rules Gemini and Gemini is all about conversations and Virgo well you know Virgo Virgoans can be very uh, yes conversational as well but there's also the hermit archetype coming from there too so they are both uh, yeah so that's what we're gonna take a look at today we're gonna see what Mercury has to say to you. So feel free to choose from group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one then you're in the right place. Before we shuffle from these we're going to take some oracle cards. We've got Chuck Spezzano in the jar. I'm very excited. Let's see what happens there. But we're going to take one of these from the Bhagavad Gita deck and all the decks I've chosen today they are very mercurial in nature because they have lots of writing on them so we've got a very wordy reading coming up and we've got quotes in the jar as well which is great we'll try and do this without seeing what's here okay I'm gonna what I'll do is I'll just do this and I'll pick the bottom one yeah Okay, that's that. So we'll take that, right? I think that's just one. No, it's two. Well, we'll take that one. So we'll put that back. Okay, um, what else do we have? So we've got this and we're going to have one of these Archangel Gabriel deck, which has lots of writing on it. <laughs> and we'll have one from the Nakshatra deck. Again, lots of writing. <laughs> I'm also wearing green. I just realized that today. That's a bit of a tribute to good old Mercury as well. One from the Nakshatra deck. And we will have, let's see, what else have I got here? We'll have, oh, I've got this Moonology deck. It's really cool. Um, it came to me by mistake. And I'd ordered something else. This has happened before. But then I end up really liking the deck that arrives. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so here we go. Moonology and a Mercury card. Okay. okay that one. And one of these. Hope your week is going good wherever you are. Group one. Okay, let's see what we've got. What is going on here? All right, so let's let's start with this, the Bhagavad Gita deck. We've got the restless mind. Uh huh. I love the artwork. Gosh, that's beautiful. The restless mind. Well, I mean, this would be. Uh, well, that's Krishna there, and this is Arjuna here. And he's, I suppose, sinking into his chariot, worried, <laughs> you know, and then Krishna appears, of course, and says, hey, don't worry. <laughs> uh, so we've got here the restless mind. The yoga practitioner whose mind is unbridled can never attain self-realization. Only one who has mastered the self and who strives by right means is assured of, ex of success. Okay whose mind is unbridled can never attain self-realization. 
only one who has mastered the self and who strives by right means is assured of success. Apologies, group one. I just hopped into the Cambridge Dictionary there. Unbridled, we have as not controlled or limited. Interesting. You have to discipline the mind. That's what this is about. Only one who has mastered the self and who strives by right means is assured of success. You have to discipline the mind. That's what we've got going on here. Okay, good. Sorry, I've decided now, if ever I need to look up a word in the dictionary, I'm just going to do it <laughs> because it's important that I do that. All right, let's have a look here. Archangel Gabriel, pay attention to your dreams. Wow, how beautiful. So maybe you're going to have some incredible dreams coming up. And, you know, you can keep a dream journal, dream diary. I had an amazing dream today. It was incredible. I was in this huge place. There were all these people. My mum was there. We were excited to be there. I can't remember the full details, but it was a very good dream. It says here, you are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. Yes, that's beautiful. Okay, well this is a good episode for you, group one, because this is Mercury, this is the mind. So you're definitely in the right place. You're working with dreams, dream state. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uttra Falguni, okay, ruled by the sun, yes. So we've got some work guidance here. Your natural counseling skills make you an excellent advisor in tricky situations. Plus you are great at keeping secrets. Okay, good. Interesting. Let's put that there. Ooh, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Beautiful. This is lovely. We've got the, you know, the tides of the ocean. There's um, movement here and nothing is set in stone. So it's kind of like you're in the heart of materializing as we speak. Nothing is set in stone. Mercury in the ninth, beautiful. Top scholar, very wealthy, intelligent, loves music and pleasure, communicates well with family and young people, is witty and loves travel. This is a terrific placement for Mercury. Great, okay, well, group number one, what do we have here? Restless mind. Let's see if we can get some cards about this. The restless mind. What are you restless about at this time? Let's see what comes. Okay, Ten of Swords, right? Okay, so we've got something coming to an end. It has come to an end, you're closing a cycle. You're on the horizon of something new. I'm not getting any... Often the Ten of Swords can be, you know, it's... Um, actual swords in someone's back right it's it's awful this card but for you it's not like that it feels more like just the end of a cycle something is ending okay let's take a look what is ending what is ending Page of Swords. Hmm. Well, this is a beginning. You've got a natural ending and a new beginning right here. And it, it is to do with your mind. Again, we've got swords, we've got swords. We've got air, mind, mercury. We also do have the sun here. 
let's take a look and see what's going on with this Sun card. Why is the Sun here? Two of Pentacles. Okay. Let me get some more information. The Hermit. Okay. So it, it does feel like it's good for you to be introspecting at this time. It doesn't feel like there's anything for you to do as such. I feel like introspection is what's needed. There's growth happening. It's like when children sleep, that's when they grow, you know, and this is that kind of thing. I kind of feel like you need time because this is this infinite loop type energy of the two of pentacles here. You know, you need more time with something, for something. You're growing, but it's a quiet process. It's happening behind the scenes. There's a lot shifting behind the scenes. Let's see if we can get some more information. What's shifting behind the scenes? Uh, let's ask about this. Nothing is yet set in stone. What's that about? Hang on, are these? Yeah, let's go this way. There we go. <laughs> these are upside down. What? Nothing is set in stone. So what isn't set in stone? What is... All right, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's take that something in relation to a Queen of Pentacles. Nothing is set in stone. Temperance. Again, we've got the presence of healing energy here. This could be to do with your wealth and your abundance. Because Queen of Pentacles, she is, she's got it all together. Like, She's fine for money. She doesn't need anything from anyone. Look at that. Her eyes are closed as well. She's cool, right? So, but are you, hmm, maybe this is saying don't worry about money, actually. Healing is definitely taking place massively. And this does feel like a kind of, um, night time we've got dreams pay attention to your dreams so i'm getting don't worry about money i do think that's what that is about money's going to be fine for you there's healing happening though and i think the healing is happening behind the scenes why is the healing happening and then we'll take a look at this dreams thing here why is the healing happening why do we need healing at this time Hierophant. So that you can commit to your true path. Okay? That is what is... It's kind of, I'm getting the word redirected or something, but it's kind of like mm, energy is not set in stone. Things are mutable, changeable on that other side. You're being healed to truly commit to your path. This path is going to lead you to incredible abundance because we've got Mercury in the ninth here, which is fortune. It's also Mercury in the ninth. It's interesting because we've got the sun here as well. There's something about you being in command, you being in charge, you being the authority of your own life, you being very committed to your path uh, in life. This is great. This is great what's coming for you, but it's kind of... I'm also getting the word soft and gradual. There's no hard and fast moves here. Dream state. What's going on in the dream state? And then we'll take a couple of quotes from the jar. What's happening in the dream state these days? Oh, that wanted to be there. <laughs> there, are a few, there are lots that are popping out. Let's see. All right. 
dream state. Wow, great. Six of Wands, success. Again, do you know, and this is kind of reminding me of, my dad had an incredible dream. This was like a long time ago. He, he told me the story. I mean, it was the most amazing dream ever. And it, it was this success. Like he was given all the questions to this exam that was really important to him. Uh, and that took him to, you know, bigger and better things. So pay attention to your dreams if you can at this time. Success. Pay attention to your dreams. You're reading, you're receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Yeah, people do have that kind of thing. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind. And that's why the stillness is needed. You do need stillness because these dreams and answers are all about how to achieve this, how to achieve your success, the kind of success that maybe you haven't even dreamed about, right? That is possible for you in your life. So, and we'll take a look at the jar. Chuck Spetsano talks about this. He talks about the kind of success that you haven't even imagined. You can attain and achieve that. So let's see what he's got to say about all of this, what's going on here. I have no idea what's in here. I wrote a whole bunch of quotes um, and I take that one. So we've got two. Let's see what comes. This was like, was it last weekend? I wrote something like mm, maybe 30, 40 quotes and I, I usually put about nine in the jar each time. And these are all just from that one book. I think it's um, lessons in relationship, vital lessons in relationship. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah, this is so true. If you don't lose control, you cannot fall in love. It's so interesting because on the one hand, you are trying to, through discipline, gain control as well. And I've been thinking about this a lot, that control is not all bad. We do need some control in life too. There is such a thing as healthy control. But like... You do need surrender, you do need, and what I always think with falling in love is you need to let go of your pride. If you let go of your pride, then you'll, you'll easily be in love. I always think pride is the blockage. You lose your pride when you fall in love. That's the thing I learned a long time ago. Uh, let's have a look here. It says, the yoga practitioner whose mind is unbridled, so is... Now we've got the Cambridge Dictionary, not controlled or limited. Yeah, look at that. The yoga practitioner whose mind is not controlled can never attain self-realization. So there is discipline needed, but it's kind of like you need the discipline in the right places so that you can let go in the other places, <laughs> right? So figuring out what that is for you is what you'll have to do okay you'll have to know where do you need the discipline in the mind because you will need discipline you'll need dis you'll need discipline to be courageous to go forward right and to try and all that kind of thing so you will need some discipline but equally you'll want to know where you need to lose control and I know for me, I, it's, I think it's my pride. Like, yeah, if I lose my pride, then yeah, falling in love's really easy kind of thing. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's take a look at the next quote. Love this one. Okay, so for a start, I mean, that's just brilliant. And this is also Mars. This is like, because Mars in the eighth house, Mars in Scorpio, that's where he loses control, right? He's out of control there. But he's in love and he's, there's a lot of passion and there's a lot of great stuff. So, you know, yeah. Okay, let's take a look. What's this? What have we got here? Without your heart, you may reach outward success. Aha, uh -huh, outward success. We've got that card. Uh, you may reach outward success, but you won't really feel it. You may have children, but you won't feel connected. Your partner will be more of a trophy in your competitiveness with others. 
than your beloved. Yeah, and this was the part of the book where he, I think he had a few other things, but I kind of ran out of room to write them. But, you know, you think of all the achievements that are out there and you can have all those things. But if you're not living out of your heart, you're not going to be connected. You're not going to feel the love. You're not going to feel the success. You see, and isn't it better to... Well, the idea of all these spiritual teachings is very much feel the success now. And then everything that comes to you is an added bonus kind of thing. But if you're feeling this in the now, you know, you will be connected. You will have wonderful relationships with all the people around you, right? And your relationships will be, there'll just be love between you and all other people. And that's, that's totally attainable. Beautiful reading, group number one. This is lovely. And I feel like you're doing great, but there's just a, a little bit of work to do with the mind, okay? And that's another thing. Don't fall into the trap of thinking there's a lot of work I need to do. No, it's, that's very Virgo hermit. That's, yeah, that's not it. Feel like there's just a little bit of work to do, a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you will be in this phase of success, of being committed to your path, of being totally abundant. It's all here for you, group number one. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I love hearing how these readings land with you guys so do let me know how you get on and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two you are in the right place. Before we shuffle from these we're going to take, now where is it, one of these, Bhagavad Gita deck, the conversation. Let's see, is it this way? It's this way. Let's see what comes. Oh these are hard to shuffle. Gosh. I'm going to be sending these back to England soon. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to buy a box maybe this weekend. But see, the thing is, I'm just sending stuff now and then I'm going to send stuff again next year. So I'm going to send some decks back. This, I think this is going to be one of them. That's also why I wanted to use it today because, um, oh, let's see. Because I am going to be sending stuff back. But I... Don't know when I'll be sending myself back. <laughs> I think it could be March next year. I don't know. Okay, we got that one. We're going to have, but I'm excited. Change is in the air and it's all very much because Saturn is going to be in Aquarius, isn't it? There's going to be change for everybody. And I'm so excited. That's um, 18 Jan. Gosh, big change. Okay, I'm going to take one of those. Oh, we've got Mercury card. Fantastic. Very in sync. Group number two. I'm wearing green for Mercury as well. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. One of those. Oh, I see. I've got these, but I didn't shuffle that for group one. Doesn't matter. I think we've got the right amount of cards. Um, let's see, one of these. And then what else did I have? Oh yeah, one of those Moonology. I bought, I ordered something totally different. And the little store, I got these from AliExpress. The little store, I know I probably shouldn't use those giant chains, but yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> anyway, they totally messed up the order and I actually told them, I said, do you know what, don't worry about it because I actually really like this. <laughs> oh, how funny. Okay, now, what do we have? I think these are the, this is the set that we're going to do. So we've got, oh, fantastic, approaching guru. Yes. So we've got Lord Krishna here. Gosh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Arjuna's chariot. That's very ornate. I didn't realize it was so glorious. And there's Arjuna, of course, with his bow and arrow. Approaching guru. You know, we did archery at school. A long time ago and I really loved it it was a lot of fun I would totally do that again okay what does it say it says approaching guru just learn the truth approach a guru with humility inquire from them submissively and render service 
The self-realized can impart transcendental knowledge, for they have seen reality. Wow. They've seen the truth. They live the truth. It's like Papaji. I've been watching Papaji lately. He's fantastic. And he just is the truth. He lives the truth. He laughs a lot. He's, you know, in love, happy, happy being. Great man. Wow. And yeah, he was completely self-realized, I think. And he often says, be quiet. <laughs> he often says, like, because I'm looking at this approach a guru with humility, like, he'll often just tell you, be quiet. It's all here. It's all here now, you know. And our minds are so restless. If you've come from group one, well, welcome. <laughs> you know, you know that, like, yeah, our minds can be really restless, and that's okay too. That's the nature of being here. We come to learn how to deal with that. Ooh, let go. Release the desire to control this situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. Yes. Yes, just let, let God do it. Let God step in and do it. And do you know what? God is probably trying to step in and do it through you, but it's like, because we're hanging on to the small self, we don't let the big self take over kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not the best at that myself, but I read about it and I'm interested in that. Okay, let's see what this is. Revati Nakshatra. Wow, we have got some high beings here. I tell you, it's a very spiritual reading. Look at that Revati. It's the last of the nakshatras. Ooh, in love. Fantastic. Through this wonderful lunar mansion, love flows with tremendous ease. Yeah, and it's interesting I was talking about Papaji because he's that man where just love just flows through him. Love flows with tremendous ease. It's for you, your partner, and all future generations. Yes, how beautiful. Oh, this is stunning. Group number two. That's where we are, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, see what this is. Oh, all right, I wasn't expecting that. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. So it's interesting because we're here at Revati, Pisces, the end of Pisces, and then whoosh, you are into a brand new cycle. And a fiery climax approaches, it's like fire. It's like off we go, you know, put your foot on the accelerator. So... This is incredible contrast and energy happening here, group number two. Loving this. Okay, let's see what we have. What Mercury card do you have? I'll try and arrange these. Okay. Mercury in the fifth. Wonderful. Yep, fire. Highly intelligent, creative and romantic. Enjoys ancient texts, philosophies, loves chatting with partner, children, logical political is self-made stunning and i mean we can see here mercury's approaching that little star there represents where he is exalted so you've got a really strong mercury here this is stunning energy wow okay well i mean this is a great spread in itself there's such beautiful energy there's there's this incredibly kind of um deeply spiritual energy here which is quiet and yeah it's like you're approaching guru i mean you're approaching enlightenment and if that's your what you're seeing in the outside world it's you're approaching yourself your self s with a capital s right there's some letting go needed at this time but it's kind of like a period of this and then you click into fire you're beginning, you're birthing something new. There's this initiatory or initiation type energy where it's like whoosh, off you go. Fantastic group number two. This is really good. So let's ask about what do you need to let go? Let's take a look at that. What do you need to let go at this time? Seven of Pentacles, okay, so you're assessing, 
you're assessing, you're looking, uh, okay, this is my work, this is what I'm doing, this is what I've created, accumulated, you're assessing at this time. And there could be some tension in the assessing, it's like, is this it, is this all? Um, what other tension and stress can we have in the assessing phase? I just had this phrase come in, that, that to recognize that what's being created in your life is being done through you. It's, it's, it's God, the all is one working through you. So you shouldn't feel any tension that I have to do it or that it's all up to me and that's the small me. I can't remember what I was listening to. I think it was Joseph Murphy and he talked about an opera singer who had this awful stage fright or something. And then he goes, he, he takes himself off the stage. I can't remember what this was, something like this. It's an odd story. But he takes himself off stage and he t talks to himself. He does a bit of self-talk and he says, Hey, little you, it's not up to you. It's up to the big you. Step aside and let the big you version of you sing through you. And then he had that little conversation with himself. He comes back on stage, does the most magnificent performance. So it's something about maybe there's there's some um, the tension within is it's coming from ego. Ego is the small version of ourselves. Right? And and we think we need to be more further along than what we are. And we have all these thoughts and ideas, but actually that's all nonsense. So it's something like this. It's something like you need to just, um, because you're not in charge anyway. This is very high-end spiritual stuff going on in this group too, let me tell you. And I'm just, because I'm trying to do these things myself, but I'm not very good at it, but I read about it. So so bear with me. <laughs> I'm maybe not where you are. <laughs> so let's see. What else, what else might you need to let go? There's also approaching guru here. Let's see. Let's see. Five of Wands competition. You are. You're assessing. You're looking. You're looking to the side. You're looking to the side, going, "Well, okay, my friends have accumulated this and done this, and they're there, and I'm here, and you know, I'd really rather be there." And <laughs> it's all that kind of thing. It's it's letting go possibly of that. That's probably as much as you need to do at this time. Uh, let's see what is this incredible new ignition, this start, this fiery climax, the, you know, and creativity. Look at that. We've got Mercury in the fifth. Creativity, that's fire, that's let's go, let's make something amazing. What are you making? What are you creating? What is this new ignition? What is this new start all about? The world, wow, okay, big energies here, guys. You want the world, you want it all. All right, good. Yep, keep wanting it all, that's fine. I, I, I believe in that, we can have it all. Any more information about this, what it is that you're creating? Ten of Pentacles, the dream, far out. This is like... Wow, group two, you're doing it. You are creating your dream life. But there's like a, a period of uh, rest, of some high spiritual thing going on here. And you're just letting go of some little egoic bits that are in the way a little bit. But it's like... You're a powerful manifester and it feels like you are really actively uh, materializing the dream life that you want. Whatever it is, and that's all of it. Like there isn't an element that you can't have or that you won't have. If, if your heart desire, desires it, fill that in, fill that picture in. Look at this. I mean, there's everything here. There's the beautiful partnership, there's children, there's pets, there's you know, extended family, all living harmoniously. This is the full dream. This is it. But you're in this kind of spiritual, highly spiritual, soft and quiet place at the moment for now. And it's that in that soft, quiet space 
that this new thing is just going to ignite. You'll be told what to do. I, I feel like you're going to be guided. You're going to be guided. Let's have a look at that. You're going to be guided for next steps. How are we bridging this Reva Theta Aries portion here? Any guidance on that? How are we? We're going to be guided, aren't we? We're going to be told what to do. Yeah, Three of Wands. Waiting for the ships to come in. Future planning. I would say you're in a bit of a future planning phase right now. Yeah. And I'm just getting the word wait. Oh, and the I don't know if you heard that. The fridge just clicked. I had a noise there. And that came on the word wait. So yeah, there's something about waiting. Okay, fine. I think some of us do feel like we're in a waiting phase at the moment. We are in between eclipses right now, if you're watching this now. So yeah, that's true. Okay, let's see what comes here. Interesting. Okay, if we are stuck someplace in relationship, we are just holding on. How incredible. Let go. We are just holding on to a certain false security. Ah, the only real security is an attitude of letting go. I mean, this is just so good. I love doing the quotes. I got to keep doing these quotes. Uh, the only real security is an attitude of letting go at each successive step until we achieve a smooth forward progress. Yes, 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 yes. This is so key. This is the guidance that you need. Basically, I've been working with this quote a lot actually um, through the book because I highlight all these bits and I've reread this portion quite a bit because what I'm realizing is that to move forward, we know how to do the action actually. We know how to take that step up. But where we're often getting stuck is we're not letting go of the previous step. So we're not lifting our foot off that previous step. That's the part that you need to get better at, the lifting your foot off the previous step or the letting go or because otherwise we you know we try to take future steps forward if we try to do that without letting go we're not moving we're just mm, we're not going anywhere so this is vital how you get that smooth forward progress is by letting go of the previous step if you get really good at letting go of that previous step then you will go forward with, with ease you know I love this quote so much and it's not just in relationship this is to do with accumulating abundance building business whatever it is yeah the only real security is an attitude of letting go at each successive step until we achieve a smooth forward progress really great quote okay so you're at that portion and you, what you, the, the way forward is to let go. And we could see that as surrender as well. Let God do it as well, you know. The camera's going to cut out, by the way. I'll just let it cut out. There we go. Okay, it did cut out. Let's open this up now. Healing toward your partner does not mean placing yourself in abusive situations, nor does it mean that you should sacrifice yourself as this would be to misinterpret the principle for the ego's ends. Wow, healing toward your partner does not mean... Absolutely. I mean, this, this is a message of letting go of someone in your space. Okay, and definitely, I mean, five of wands can be competition, but look at that. I mean, this is... This is a difficult energy and yeah, God, God doesn't want you to be, you know, stuck in some difficult, awful situation. No, not at all. So if anyone's going through any of that and you need time out, then, then definitely release, release the attachment, the feeling of attachment to where you are or whatever this is sometimes we can't always sometimes we interpret that as oh, I need to move out of this house sometimes we can't always do that so it's about releasing or dissolving any attachment and it can be releasing or dissolving attachment to a future dream as well 
You've manifested it. It's there for you. It's your birthright. You can make your way here, no problem. But uh, there is something about being free, um, free of attachments to certain things. Let's take one more quote and see what comes. Fascinating. Okay, let's take this one. Right, so what do we have here? We need an ego to function in this world, but having built up a good, strong ego, we now have to dismantle part of it to have a relationship. Yeah, that's true. And this almost suits group one a little bit better, I think. But it's okay. I think this has come here for a reason as well. This could also be for some of you that are so spiritual that you haven't been in a relationship for a really long time. Um, maybe you've built up a very good spiritual ego. Sometimes, yes, we have spiritual ego as well. So sometimes, and then it's very difficult to let someone in because you love your peace and quiet so much and all that. But, you know, that's not always uh, possible or practical either. Because we came here to grow. We came here to be with people and to share our gifts with people. We now have to dismantle part of it to have a relationship. Yeah, so, but equally this can be, we've just come off the back of this. There's some healing with partner. It does not mean placing yourself. So, I mean, I think there are some different groups here. Some of you will just need to let go of a relationship. Equally, some of you will need to let go of wanting to be in control all the time, like loving you. I, I, I'm a bit like this. Like I love my quiet time and my space so much. And yeah, sometimes we have to let go of that to let people in, right? So yeah, interesting. Well, group number two, what I can definitely tell you is that your dream or the great things that are there for you, they are fully formed and waiting to come in. But enjoy the place where you are now and enjoy the space, enjoy the beauty, enjoy where you are now. And the new will, will start to come in, it definitely will. These are beautiful cards. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, you are in the right place. Let's take a look. What are we doing? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's take one from here, Bhagavad Gita deck. This will be the last time I use it for a while. Because I am, yeah, I am going to send a box across to my place, a box of my stuff. But I'm not heading back to England just yet. I am going though. <laughs> Quite excited about sending stuff. <laughs> like the journey begins, something, I don't know. Okay, I'll take one of these. Here we go. And what else are we going to have? We're going to have, do you know, I've got this deck. But like, I haven't shuffled it for anybody, so I'm gonna be good. I won't shuffle it for anyone, but it's weird. Sometimes I bring all the decks out and I'm like, mm, that one just is not being used today. I've got all the wordy decks out. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna do it this way so I can't see the color. Got my eyes closed and everything. Okay, here we go. It looks like Rahu. Oh, I have one of these. that one Got one of these i hope you're good wherever you are group number three yeah things have been a bit crazy out there in the world oh let's take that one and one more i feel like there's one more what is it oh yeah this one Yeah, I hope you've been, I hope the eclipse was all right for everyone as well. I forgot to ask everyone about that. I hope, I know it was um, very uneventful for me. <laughs> Nothing happened. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. So, oh, nice. Wow. 
pearls on a thread stunning gosh that's beautiful doesn't that take you somewhere far away look at the what is that that's a peacock yeah it always reminds me of holland park <laughs> okay pearls on a thread know for certain that whatever is found in this creation arises out of a combination of my material and spiritual energies i'm the origin and dissolution of all there is nothing beyond me okay capital m me the all is one arjuna everything rests upon me as pearls are strung on a thread wow I love this thing, yeah, everything rests upon me. Because, yeah, God, the all is one is so strong. Beautiful, okay. That everything is just resting. Like even the heavy objects like cranes <laughs> and trucks. I like pearls on a thread. Okay, um, what have we got here? We'll take this one. Success. Oh, nice. Congratulations, you did it. Wow, what did you do? Group number three. This is good. Loving it. I mean, well, we, uh, this is just stunning. So that doesn't surprise me, the presence of that. Okay, uh, what's next? Let's take this one. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay, fascinating. I think we're going to put that here, though. Swati Nakshatra, all right, yeah. Do you know, I, um, my name is, this is my name, but it's spelt with a V. My father spelt it with a V, and I like that he did that because that's a bit more traditional. Uh, okay, we've got Rahu here, yes, indeed, at work. You are fantastic at negotiating deals and creating win-wins wherever you go. Your entrepreneurial talent is sure to be noticed. Okay, good. Um, great. Time to take action. All right, we've got a lot going on here, group number three. Very amazing. Let's see. And this one, Mercury in the eighth. Ooh, nice. Mercury in that secretive place. Inherits and earns a lot. Very intelligent, lives long, gets sudden gains. Can dig deep for intellectual knowledge and secrets. Yes, courtly manners. Definitely. And there is this thing about Mercury in the eighth. It's like... You figure out how the occult works in an intellectual sort of a way. So great placement, very analytical about um, all occult type things. Okay, success. Let's see, what do you uh, have to feel so great about? Group number three, what's going on? What is going on? You did it. What did you do? That's it. That's what we'll ask. What did you do? Okay, it says success. Congratulations. You did it. All right, what did you do? Now we've got the question. <sighs> what did you do? And remember, even if you're not feeling it, you're not seeing it, let's say life is chaotic or tiring or you're not seeing anything in the outside world, maybe you've been working hard behind the scenes. You don't know. Your higher self might be doing things, orchestrating things. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, celebration. All right. Good. Love it. So you are celebrating, but I'm still not clear about what. What are you celebrating? Congratulations. You did it. What did you do? Okay. We are celebrating. Okay. I've got this very mischievous energy. It's all it's kind of like mischievous flirtatious all right well okay good ace of swords okay something to do with the mind something to do with the mind a new beginning in the mind you're learning something maybe you Maybe you have graduated in some way. <clears throat> Something to do with knowledge is what I'm getting. Is this to do with the mind? Is this to do with the work that you're doing? It kind of feels like that. Ace of Pentacles, two aces. 
yes, could be to do with the work that you're doing. Maybe you're on a really good uh, streak with your work. You're churning out a lot of good quality stuff at the moment. Or like your clients are really happy. Or uh, let's take a look. Congratulations, you did it. You've, maybe you've successfully created a brand new beginning for yourself in something or the new level you're at the you're at the new level it's time to take action interesting four of pentacles holding on yeah okay so what are you holding on to let's have a look put these here what are you holding on to got some kind of Rahu type energy here what are you holding on to page of wands a path that you're unsure if you should go down that path or not and it's interesting because you're kind of getting 50 50 information here you're getting this beautiful happy cat that's like hey come this way and you've also got this thing here right and you're kind of like hmm I don't know because 50% of the information is saying yeah go down this path but 50% is saying this is not a good path <laughs> okay I often find myself in these situations by the way so let's explore this what is this path what are you holding on to what is what is the possibility down this path what could come of through towards the end of this path king of cups wow so it is like some form of love or interesting okay should we be worried about <laughs> let's see I don't know, can we ask that? <laughs> Give us some more information about this King of Cups. The world. Wow. All right. So maybe it's a King of Cups who's promising the world to you. But is this just an illusion? Is it that you go down this path and it ends up being you know well what was that why did I and it could be you know and this is the thing about life there are no guarantees like you've just got to live it you've just got to try don't you you've just got to you've just got to take action so do you have to take some form of action group numbers okay so we can see we can see look there's there's love there's a promise of love there's somebody's promising you the world maybe or or and, and it could be a job offer where they're saying look this job is going to be amazing we really want you but then you, gosh, you start the job and you're like oh what am i doing here right <laughs> so it's something like this but you're being given the guidance to take action you're being told well you have to do something it's it's kind of like okay so you have to do something what do you have to do What's your action? This is so interesting. What's your action? You're being guided to act. What do you, what do you have to do? Let's take that one. Page of Pentacles. And it's so interesting because he is he's got a map in front of him. So he's got information he's flicking a coin heads or tails take a chance i'm getting like okay it's time to take action take a chance materialize do something do something what are you gonna do okay but mercury in the eighth why is that here let's see what that's about and then we're probably what are we 11 minutes we're probably gonna have to wrap it up what's this uh what's hidden what's hidden from our view let's ask that what can we not see that one's jumping out page of cups what can we not see some love maybe we can't see this new beginning in love or there's something here and if this is work related it's like take a chance this might be 
um, something you'll love to do. Look, he's painting, he's loving it. It's like take a chance, start your YouTube channel or start that thing or go for it. Oh, I don't know if you heard the dog barking as well. Yeah, okay. Well, this is exciting. Group number three. Loving the energy here for you. And look, this is showing, a lot of this is already saying, well, you are successful. You try at this, it doesn't work out, doesn't matter. <laughs> because you've got all this to fall back on. You're this. Your ace of pentacles, your ace of, look at all this. Your pearls on a thread. You know, and my name, Swathi, yes, um, is, so yeah, what's the deal with that? Apparently, when, when it, one of the meanings of this name is that when it rains, pearls will form in the ocean. That's one of the meanings that I like the best. There are quite a few meanings. But, um, and we've got pearls on a thread here. And we've got Ace of Pentacles. And we've got, I'm just making a mess, aren't I? Look at that. We've got Ace of Pentacles. We've got Ace of Swords. We've got Three of Cups. You're celebrating. The Divine is having a party over here. They're just loving whatever it is you've got going on. So that's great. So I feel like you can take a chance. And yes, You've got some information, but you're not sure. You're even flicking a coin. You're taking a chance. Yes, it's 50-50, you know. Um, and this is a bit, the, the Four of Pentacles is a little bit believe in Allah, but tie your camel, right? I'm quoting that from Ram Dass. Like, I love that quote. And, and, and it's true. You, you've got to be sensible. But it feels like you can take a chance. It feels like you can have a bit of fun and be creative and do something interesting. Great. Group number three, very interesting. Oh, these are two giant ones. I can sort of see that. Let's put one back and let's take a smaller one. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, we might be dipping in for more. Um, we are at the 14 minute mark, so this is gonna run out, but let's, let's go for it. Okay, oh, this is huge, okay. Especially notice where you used a terrible event to communicate love. This is the sign of you martyring yourself. Oh yeah, see, it's funny this comes up because on Monday I wrote the uh, master's script. Okay, good. Yeah, this is untrue and self-destructive. Where you ask for help or love by having negative events happen. These are patterns of attempting to get old needs met in present situations and it almost never succeeds. Do you know what? And I think that's what you're celebrating, group number three. I think you're celebrating the end of needing to do this. I think you're going to go forward in life in a far more loving way. And we've got the Page of Cups here. This is what's new for you. It's hidden from your view, but it's actually very good. There's no, there's no negativity here. I feel like life is going to become so much more loving. And I think it's going to, it's, it's going to be because you're going to stop attacking yourself. That is a sign of martyring yourself. Yeah, this is untrue and self-destructive. Where you ask for help or love by having negative events happen. These are patterns of attempting to get old needs met in present situations and it almost never succeeds. This is a pattern that you're just, if you have this, and I know I've had this, um, and there are certain placements you know, if you have like, say, for example, debilitated Venus, things like that, you will do this kind of thing. I've, I'm writing about that in the, I've written the script. I just haven't made the video yet. So yeah, um, this is very interesting. You're not going to do this anymore. Great. That's what we're celebrating. The end of that, you know, good. Okay. Yeah. I and mean, even if you do it again in the future or whatever, but you'll know, you'll become more conscious and then things will just, you won't do it anymore, you know, you won't. And this is, this is also about, this is also about, this is a message of um, don't be so hard on yourself as well. And I know, and that, so for example, this week, I think this is why I'm resonating with this pile quite a bit. Um, this week I actually, I was going, so I wrote the master's episode on the Monday and then I was due to record it on the Wednesday, but then I just finished like a one and a half hour session. I was super tired and I said to myself, don't do it. Just do it on Monday next week and or whenever. And I've said to myself, 
I'm going to stop overworking myself and doing all that. Like, no, I'm actually just going to put me first and like just push it to next week. If I need to push it to next week, I push it to next week. You know, um, so I'm kind of being sensible and not overworking myself and all that. And yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning, you know. All right, let's see. We are always communicating to the most important people in our lives, even long after they have left their bodies. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and definitely. And it's interesting that I mentioned my dad in this episode and how he named me and stuff because yeah I mean he's always around and I'm always he's he left his body many years ago but it, it I it's weird I feel closer to him you know because there's always communication happening there I do feel like he's looking after me so yeah all right let's take um one more quote because we can let's see or do we want a big one or a short one short and sweet let's do it <laughs> Usually when they're short, maybe they're a bit more positive. Oh, not, not necessarily though. Let's see. All right, let's see. Want the wholeness of perfect love with all of your heart and let heaven help you. Yeah, that's beautiful. All you have to do is want it. All you have to do is want the great outcome because then your intentions and your actions and your desire, everything is in like is that you want the best to happen for yourself and for others. And if that's what you want with all your heart, that's what has to happen, right? You will manifest that, you'll create that. If you want the right thing, you can't go wrong. That's what I believe. Want the wholeness of perfect love with all of your heart and let heaven help you. And it will happen easily. Whatever it is that you want to have happen, it will happen with ease. It won't be difficult. It won't be hard. It's just going to be good. Because that's all you want, isn't it? You just want what's good. That's the, that's the part you have to do. You have to do the wanting part, maybe. And, yeah, and a bit of choosing and all that. But I don't know. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's complicated, isn't it? What's destined and what's, what's free will. Well, we could spend a lot of time talking about that. Group number three, this is a beautiful spread. I hope you're excited for whatever is to come. I feel like you've graduated to some new level of stability within your internal self. So that means you can try for things in the outside world. If they don't work out, it doesn't matter. You've got a, a very mm, nice high platform on which to fall back on type thing. So. I hope this has been a good reading. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Also, I'm a little bit behind on emails and comments at the moment, everyone, but I'm getting around to everything in good time. So thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.